Hey guys and welcome back to another quick video on the channel. Today we have got the Game Week 13 predictions of the Premier League season. Now we're going to start this episode off just by quickly having a look at the website and the league table. We are still down near the bottom in 17th place but we are slowly, very slowly starting to make a little bit of ground on some of the other opponents. We're nowhere near the money, it's going to take a miracle but... We want to just start making our way back up the league. So we're on 67 at the moment. There's a massive gap up to 81. So we really need to start picking up some three-pointers. Obviously, we are currently in the middle of a midweek fixture. I'm recording this on Wednesday evening. So there's quite a few games today. Um, there was two games yesterday. We had Brighton Forest and Crystal Palace Wolves. Uh, the scores were 0-0 and 2-1 respectively. We did get one point for Crystal Palace winning. We had 1-0 uh, and it was 2-1. So we, we weren't really that close, but uh, we got a point for that. My dad got three points, which was rather annoying, and most people had Brighton to win. The guy who's top did have 0-0 somehow. I, I don't know how we predicted that. But yeah, we're we're a long way off off the pace at the moment. So we're just looking to catch up. Ideally, I would love to try and catch and beat my dad, but it's gonna it's gonna be tough because he's currently on eighty three points, and we're on sixty seven. But we will jump into our predictions for game week thirteen. So let's have a look what we've gone for. Okay, then guys, here are the predictions for this upcoming weekend's fixtures. I will run through them pretty quickly, as a lot of them were games that I thought were quite um, predictable, but saying that, I know how hard this is, so I will probably do awful. First game, we've gone for Liverpool to win 3-0 away at Nottingham Forest. Obviously, they beat City at the weekend with a massive result for them. Could kickstart their season, so I've gone for a 3-0 victory. We've then gone Everton and Palace uh, one all. I think they're quite evenly matched. Everton have been struggling recently, but it's always tough to go to Goodison, so I've gone for a draw. We've then gone for City to respond after that defeat to Liverpool with a 3-0 home victory. I would be very surprised if they didn't bounce back uh, knowing what City are like, but you never know. Um, it is our joker game for the week, so we have gone for... A 3-0 win. We've then gone for Chelsea to beat United by two goals to one. Chelsea playing very well at the moment and not conceding a lot, but I have gone for United to score. Could be another clean sheet for Chelsea because, as I say, United aren't scoring a lot at the moment, but I have gone for 2-1 to Chelsea. I do think that we will win that game. Same result in the next two games as well, 2-1 uh, home victories. I've gone 2-1 to Villa against Brentford because I have a feeling that Gerard may be sacked by then and they may have a bit of a new manager bounce so I've actually gone for Villa to win this one 2-1 bit of a risk as they're playing pretty poor at the moment but we will see what happens I've then gone for Leeds to beat Fulham I was gonna go for a draw but Fulham aren't playing great at the moment uh, so I did go for Leeds to win next up we have the league leaders Arsenal away at St Mary's I've gone for a 2-0 victory uh, they don't seem to be scoring loads at the moment Arsenal beat Leeds 1-0 last Sunday they aren't actually playing this midweek so they should be fresh I've gone for a 2-0 comfortable win um, for the Gunners, the league leaders at St Mary's. We've then gone for Wolves 1, Leicester 1. Generally pretty well matched these two together. I know Leicester are bottom of the league at the moment, but Wolves don't score a lot. Lost to Palace in the week, and I don't think they're the strongest, although um, I can't remember the fella's name who's like caretaker manager at the moment, but he's doing a pretty good job. Uh, I've then gone for Tottenham Newcastle, a uh, bit of an odd one, but I've gone for nil nil. Tottenham don't score a huge amount under Conte, but they are very good at the back, so we've gone for a nil nil stalemate, bit of an interesting one. But I'm hoping if it's not nil nil, it might be a draw regardless. And then the final game, Monday night, I was going to go for West Ham to win. But I have gone for a 1-1 draw between themselves and Bournemouth, as Bournemouth are doing well at the moment under Gary O'Neill. And I think since they lost to Liverpool, they're unbeaten. I just I saw on uh, on Twitter the other day, so they're doing well at the moment. And um, a tough place to go, West Ham. But obviously, West Ham are playing tonight, I believe. I'm not sure uh, who Bournemouth have got during the week. 
But I've gone for a one-all draw. And as I say, joke again, we have gone for Man City to bounce back and beat Brighton by three goals to nil. So, like I always say, let me know your thoughts down below of the predictions for this week. And uh, hopefully we can make some ground on the rest of the people who are above us in the league. But we will be back for the next round of fixtures. So I will catch you then. Peace.